Boom. Hey there, welcome back to the TRE Kitchen. I'm Elizabeth. And I'm Kirk. And we are doing dinners for runners. Tonight we have on the menu... Turkey meatballs. All right, tune in. <laughs> <laughs> hey, <thank you. laughs> we started. I got that. Oh, that's great. Go okay, ahead. so we are in the kitchen here. I have the lovely Kirk help us out today Under with guns. another another uh, dinner recipe for runners. So it's turkey meatballs. Great. You fan? What do we start with? We start with the potatoes. So this is a really simple, I'm trying to make the meals easy. Um, if you're kind of new to the kitchen and you don't necessarily want to, you know, do food prep or you don't have time for that, easy things. I have all uh, things that I got um, from the freezer. So you have them on hand in case you didn't have time to shop. Cool. So what we're going to start with are the roasted rainbow potatoes. Great. So all right. I could have prepared these on my own as well. You could Didn't have. Didn't have to get them frozen. Nope. You could have cut them up. Um, I like a variety. So red potatoes, purple potatoes, white potatoes, whatever. Sweet. Slice them up. You could do them in the oven also. Okay. Um, but again, for today, kind of one skillet meal, we're going to do that. Cool. So put in about half of that package. So about a cup, one to two cups of frozen potatoes. Those will take about, in the stir fry, about 10 minutes or so. So we're going to get those going. Um, and then while those are cooking, we're going to talk about a little bit about the meatballs and how to Sweet. get those going. Okay. All right, guys, step two of the dinner, meatballs. Meatballs. <laughs> so we have here some turkey, frozen turkey meatballs. You can do any kind that you like. I prefer to make mine myself and I'll make a big batch and then freeze them so that I have them ready to go for recipes all week long or if you're doing like a meal prep Monday. Um, that way they're nice. good. You can do turkey, um, bison, ground beef, lentils, veggies. Lamb. Lamb. Yep. Very paleo friendly <laughs> <laughs> lamb meatballs. Um, so and yeah. Yeah. I, I used to prepare these all the time for myself because there was gluten in most uh, prepackaged meatballs. So if you are someone that has a tough time with gluten, be sure that you pay attention to that so that you can prep accordingly. Um, my favorite recipe that I used to do was just uh, beef and garlic and rosemary, and that was it. It's pretty simple. There you go. Simple as that. All right, mm -hmm. so these are going to go in the microwave for about four minutes. All right, step three, we've got to add some veggies. I'm a big fan of veggies. You don't like broccoli? I'm kidding. Okay, good. <laughs> Phew. All right, so next up, again, if you have fresh, that's fine, but we're for the recipe, we're using frozen broccoli. So we're going to add those to the potatoes. Uh, the potatoes, the last like maybe five minutes or so, so that we cool. get the broccoli going. So they're going. not fully cooked yet. We're not just, fully cooked yet. This broccoli doesn't take quite as long. No, not at all. Nothing worse than soggy broccoli. Okay, that's, right. en that's enough broccoli. So we're going to do that. And I'm just going to add in a little bit more, <laughs> okay, light on the veggie for this one, for Kirk. Add in a little bit more olive oil or avocado oil. Start to mix those around a bit. Perfect. And these and are, we're going to cover them. And yep, we're going to cover them to help out. let them steam. Do for another three or four minutes or so, and then the meatballs should be done, and then we'll put it all together. Final step of the <laughs> recipe here. So everything is cooked. I'm going to add a tiny little bit of seasoning. This is just a lemon herb. Uh, lemon herb. It, yeah, it adds a good little bit of taste in there. Add a little fresh herb to it. Got it. All right. Meatballs are cooked. Meatballs are cooked. Meatballs are going in. Okay. It's easy. Now, the final ingredient that really adds some flavor to this is the kale, cashew, basil, pesto. Vegan. Vegan. Kale, so a lot cashew, of pesto. Basil, pesto. <laughs> people don't know. They put Parmesan cheese in pesto a lot of the time. And if you're a non-dairy person like myself, or you know, you don't want that cheesy flavor. Um, there are a lot of good alternatives. Trader Joe's makes a great one. You can make it yourself. Powered we're, by Trader Joe's. We're going to add um, two big spoonfuls of that healthy okay. source of fats uh, for the runners. So One dose. Thank you very much. And then we're just going to mix that around, make sure it's all heated, that all the okay. meatball down, everything's nice. cooked back in, uh, mixed together, and then we're ready to plate it up. Sweet. Let's do this. All right, so everything is cooked up, uh, mixed together. You ready to eat? You have Sounds an appetite? Good. Yes. Yeah? 
All right, so we're yes. just gonna plate this up here. I don't want it to oh, uh, fall. So again, it's a mix of broccoli, potatoes, uh, That's turkey meatballs, and some pesto. All now, right. I am eating my broccoli, but it's just <laughs> because Elizabeth is asking me to. Thank you. I appreciate that. That's some that's friendship right there. When, when they'll eat the when they'll eat the broccoli for you, test out your menu. Sounds great. Looks a I will hot. eat it when it's not piping hot. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. Okay. All right. We are back in the TRE kitchen today, doing a fifteen <laughs> dinner for runners. <laughs> Like everybody, most people will eat broccoli. For some reason, they'll look at like asparagus or cauliflower or something like that, and they Meat won't stuff. try it. But <laughs> I've been like filming this whole thing. Nate, like if I hear any more back talk, <laughs> you're not invited to my kitchen again. I, I want you out. If I say nutritional the yeast, you put yeah. that nutritional the yeast in. Thanks for and, lunch. And don't feel like you have to eat the <coughs> broccoli. If you liked this video and you liked my meatballs, leave us a comment and click the like button. I want to hear how it goes. I want to hear if you tried the vegan kale, cashew, basil, pesto. If you tried eating some more broccoli, let us know. And Elizabeth and I have been making a ton of recipes here in the kitchen. So be sure to subscribe to the channel as well if you want to see them, not just meatballs, but much more. And we also have a bunch of running content as well. So we will see you guys in the next video. Bye.